took what God gave us, a yeah. shot, and a God fist, a rock. Now they say Syria's confusing. Can't decide which of the sides they really should be choosing. Here's a thought, how about you recognize that we're all losing And there's nothing civil about a war where kids are stabbed to death And mothers smothered on a kitchen floor or by the kitchen floor Collapsing from a barrel bomb Conspiracies we've carried on like baggage from our colonizers Unified by our ability to seek the wrong advisors Money hungry evildoers, power hungry presidents Using hunger as a weapon to destroy the residents Patronizing marathons of half truth on the news These bloody Arabs Headlines or punchlines, come on man, two for one, I'm not amused, ayo, somebody tell these anchormen, it's best to keep it classy, burgundy's the color of our blood that's flooding in the Aussie, civil disobedience flowed within our veins, our fathers went against the grain while Hitler hid inside a lion's mane, a crying shame, mm, a crying shame. A crying shame the way the boy was crying wolf and they believed him using war on terror rhetoric while murdering the peaceful crying shame, say it with me, crying shame. Crying shame, say it with me, crying shame. Crying shame the way the boy was crying wolf and they believed him using more on terror rhetoric while murdering the peaceful. It's ironic and deceitful. Egging on fanaticism until it starts to see through. If Obama bombed America, you'd probably be extreme too. Like if your mama jumped up off a bridge, you take a leap too. But the fine line between these timelines is almost see through, and that's why the world forgets it. Now a couple hundred thousand dead, and no one regrets it. It being the negligence when children needed medicine. It being the fact that amputations aren't lessening. It being depressing, and it being what's stressing them. Them being the millions of displaced. So who could stay in power? Several hundred every hour, several thousand in a day, until there's nothing left to say except what a pity. Zach that he's becoming one of Jordan's largest cities But this one has no infrastructure, people eat by sewage weight If you're really Arab, find a way to blame the Jewish states And if you're really Arab, find a way to Come on man A crying shame A crying shame the way the war was crying wolf And they believed him using war on terror rhetoric While murdering the peaceful crying shame Say it with me, crying shame Crying shame, say it with me, crying shame a crying shame the way the boy was crying wolf and they believed him Egging on fanaticism until it started to creep in I pray my people take these words as a call to the conscience Sudi is now the bottleneck of all our region's conflicts Shia, Sunni, Turkish, Kurdish, religious and secular Imperialist and anti this to levels that are molecular 99% of all matter is empty space so nothing's real Except the scars and smiles on a child's face just let him heal Egos aside, this ain't a tit for tat While the opposition kept on bickering should be how laughed Not to mention these crazy fanatics who took advantage from all over the planet uh, Growing percentage of this havoc and this pain Causing damage to our revolution and tarnishing its name Not to mention Allah's name and all his mercy and compassion Beheading people left and right for not following their fashions It's tragic, so many fingers in the pot Cooking this fatal fete, what a waste The average Syrian can even taste a sip of metta A disgrace And a crying shame a crying shame the way the boy was crying wolf and they believed him using war on terror rhetoric while murdering the peaceful crying shame say it with me crying shame crying shame say it with me crying shame crying shame the way the boy was crying wolf and they believed him eradicating populations while the world was sleeping see it all comes down to choices most Syrians have none left that's why a former business owner has to resort to gun theft that's why a little girl named Shems may never see the sunset. That's why I can't help but feel guilt when I see a plate of Mensef. Four years in, four million refugees, 220,000 people killed, over a million wounded, and over 12 million men, women, and children inside Syria in dire need of help. Please, give, and give generously, and think about the people of Syria. It's the place where the very first alphabet was recorded the very first musical notations, some of the first mosques, churches, and synagogues in this world. Syrian history is world history.